Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the top 5 tips to become a pro in Blocks Fruits. If you didn't already know, I'm hosting giveaways in my Discord server to celebrate 25,000 subscribers. And all you need to do to enter is like the video, subscribe and join the server. Link in the description below. If you enter, good luck with the giveaways. Let's get straight into it. The first tip and the most obvious tip is to level up to max level if you have not already so the easiest way to level up to max level would either be one of two things either you have a lot of fragments and you use them all to buy lore raids and you kill lore a ton of times to get a ton of levels lore is also order what it's known as in the game in the second c or you could just eat a buddha fruit and level up normally but just faster because you have a Buddha. Every level gives you three stat points, so every level that you haven't gotten is three stat points you're missing out on. The next tip is to get a better sword. The sword you choose can determine how you play and how much damage you can do in one combo. Picking the right swords can give you an advantage. Some great swords to pick are CDK, or Cursed Jewel Katanas, Toshida, Dark Blade, Cavender, Shisui and Spiky Trident, just to pick a few. These swords are great for fighting and do a pretty good amount of damage. The third tip is to upgrade your swords. Upgrading your sword can make it do way more damage. For example, I am using CDK and I haven't upgraded it yet. At the blacksmith, there is one in each C. In the third C, the blacksmith is at Port Town. You can use materials that you find to upgrade your weapons, and they can do extra damage. Upgrading something, like my Cursed Jewel Katanas, would give it 7% extra damage. But I am missing some ingredients. It is only 7% because the damage on the Cursed Jewel Katanas are already really high. But if you try upgrading something else like the base katana, or the base cutlass, like I have right here, it would increase the damage by 30%, which is a really big amount. So you're missing out on a lot of damage if you haven't upgraded your weapons already. The next tip is to use the right accessories. Accessories give a lot of buffs, and a lot of accessories can give damage buffs. Make sure you are using an accessory that helps you with whatever type of stats that you have. If you have stats in swords, then make sure your accessories help make your swords do more damage, or have less cooldown. The best sword accessories are the Valkyrie Helm and Pale Scarf, both giving 15% extra sword damage. But if you have both, use the Pale Scarf, it is better in general. If you want to check what your current accessory does, go find the nerd in your C and he will tell you the buffs that your accessory gives. He is in the second and third Cs, in the cafe and the mansion right here. Just talk to him and he tells you what it does. Now the fifth and final tip is to learn your fruit's playstyle. Learning how to use your fruit properly can be the difference between life and death in PvP. Some examples for different fruits are how Doe is a mid-ranged fruit, Leopard is a close-ranged fruit, Dragon is much more of a longer-ranged fruit, and Barrier is just a trash fruit that you should get rid of if you ever touch it. And some fruits like Paw and Dark and Portal are more like mobility and utility to help you if you're a sword main or something like that. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.